Well, tonight we're hearing from two victims of a frightening attack in New Jersey involving a raccoon. The attack lasted for several hours today, and at one point the raccoon even chased children around the backyard. Right now, officials are trying to figure out if it had rabies. Eyewitness News reporter Naveen Dollywall tells us how it all unfolded. As long as I'm on the side of the grass, everything's fine. Roy DeMeo was enjoying the rays, sitting on his chair in the front lawn when... And all of a sudden I felt something over here, you know like biting or clawing her. For a minute, I thought it was a dog. Even though furry, it sure was not that. And it was angry, biting at Roy's leg, his back and fingers, his blood leaving prints on that chair. And I don't know how the hell he came through that thing with me, still hanging on. As Roy was rushed to the hospital, that animal was spotted again. And about a half hour later, headquarters received another call for a group of children and an adult who were confronted by the raccoon in the backyard. Acting vicious, though luckily not attacking anyone here. But it wasn't over yet. A short while later, just a block from Roy, the animal ended up in this 72-year-old's backyard while he was gardening. I didn't know what it was. And then when I reached back there, it was fur. Latching onto the man's back and biting down hard. It's scary as hell. And he started coming at me again. I threw a bucket at him and he went away. This man also receiving medical treatment as police alerted neighbors. Concerns high. Mindy Xavier knew her daughter was home. To call my house to make sure my daughter was aware while she's walking the dogs. I also have chickens, so I don't want anything to happen to them. More than two hours after this raccoon began to terrorize this neighborhood, it was found here in this vacant lot. That raccoon now with animal control being tested for rabies, but many here still on edge. You know, it was unprovoked and surprising and it's just wow. In Maywood, Naveen Dhaliwal, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.